Hi, my name is Jeannie and in this video I will be touching on the concept of um, benefits. What is benefits in Nichiren Buddhism and how do we define benefits? The two types of benefits, conspicuous and inconspicuous benefits. So the word conspicuous means uh, it is visible and inconspicuous means invisible. So we took Nam Myoho Renge Kyo ultimately in order to be enlightened to the truth about our own life, uh, what creates our suffering and how we can transform that suffering into something of value and something that will create more and more happiness for us. So ultimately you can say that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is all about uh, developing that life condition or that awareness, that consciousness um, or life state, as she'd like to call it, that is that you're very happy, that you are happy because you are aware of how the universe works and you are aware and you have a tool that can change anything negative in your life into something positive. You can transform it. We call it uh, uh, another benefit of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is turning poison and into medicine. It's changing something that is so negative and that creates so much suffering and turn it into a source of inspiration and joy and creating something of value out of it. So I don't like to speak in um, terms that are like not not based on my, my life because that's the purpose of this video is to share how this, this chanting works in daily life. So um, I did chant for you know, a car, I chanted for jobs, I chanted for a relationship. So those are conspicuous benefits. But be aware that when you are chanting for those things, material things, uh, that necessarily in itself will not create happiness and it will not create a lasting happiness. But it does come also with uh, inconspicuous benefits, which is a change in your character. So you chant for a car, but because you have a car, uh, you also develop this responsibility of maintaining your car, of paying for the car. So it, it comes with inconspicuous benefits as well uh, of, of benefits that are not seen. So in terms of relationships as well, I did chant for a relationship, uh, although that relationship didn't last in the long term. Uh, what I came back came out of it was the inconspicuous benefit of realizing that I'm stronger than I think. And also the inconspicuous benefit of, you know, realizing my, my dreams and my ambitions actually because of my relationship ending, I actually realized the value of my life and uh, to value myself as a woman. And also out of that situation, I was able to turn poison into medicine because, because I, I lost that person, that toxic person, that toxic relationship. Out of that, I gained eight books. So I became a writer and I continue to be a writer and I'm gonna be writing for, you know, as long as I can do it and hopefully for the rest of my life and I enjoy it. And it's not something that I would have discovered if I stayed in that relationship. So so there's, there's things that happen for a reason, you know, and also, uh, conspicuous benefits like let's say uh, a lot of people always ask this like I can chant for a million dollars yeah you can you can definitely chant for a million dollars will that necessarily uh, make you happy though well, that will be the question because uh, I have a friend and her neighbor uh, ne next door neighbor won the lottery and equivalent to a million dollars but in five years they lost it all and they created so much misery in their life uh, they thought that that was the source of their happiness, but it ended up that he got sick. Uh, the, the man in the family, um, the father in the family, like he, he did all sorts of like, he went into different uh, habits uh, that were bad habits and he, and he wound up being sick, you know, and in the hospital and they lost it all and they lost their family. So. Um, definitely, if you want, you can chant for a million dollars if you feel that that contributes to your life. But there must be a purpose as well there that are you just chanting for the sake of chanting for it? Or is there a greater purpose to chanting for it? Definitely. Because right now as well, I'm chanting for um, you know more income as well from my books, not just from my work. 
but from other sources as well, and I'm, I'm working on that as well. Um, and there we have actually have a lot of members and a lot of those members I have met personally and I've heard stories that uh, members there was this one particular member who lived in a garbage dump and uh, a member um, she wasn't a member yet but a member uh, introduced her to chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and told her you can do so much more with your life you know chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo uh, so that you will get out of this garbage dump because back in the Philippines there's literally people that live in garbage dumps because that's their, how they earn their living they 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 recycle the garbage and then they get scrap metals and exchange it for money but she realized that when she got introduced to chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo she realized that she wanted to form her own business and from someone who had literally nothing uh, she chanted and was able to create the right steps uh, create the right actions uh, in order to own her own business and that's how she became successful and I've heard of members as well there was this one particular member and I heard she was so embarrassed uh, based on what I was told uh, her home was so it was basically a shanty and her floorboards were like cardboard literally if you step on it it like it will like you can your foot will get like get stuck in it because it's literally so so hit her her home was so fragile you know it was basically made of cardboard and like a member or members um uh, actually buddhist members actually encouraged her to chant nam myoho renge kyo to turn her life around to create more more good fortune in her life as they said so what happened was that uh, she chanted to be to have a better circ a better life circumstances and to have more money and she actually owned several properties because of her 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 daimuku her chanting nam myoho renge kyo but of course you have to have clarity as well that's the thing about this practice you always have to have clarity is that what you want and you chant nam myoho renge kyo gain clarity um so um, based on my life as well, uh, based on just the conspicuous and inconspicuous benefits. So conspicuous benefit, uh, when I started in America seven years ago, I uh, actually had my first assignment was in upstate New York and it was freezing. It was the middle, middle of winter and I had no experience with snow. But what happened was that I chanted, like I said, like, this is so miserable. I can't bear this anymore. I'm going to chant for, you know, better a better assignment than this one not just like walking because there's literally there was no public transportation in that area it was remote it was a rural area and it, unfortunately it was in the middle of winter so after a couple months of chanting i actually wound up in new york city uh, the thing is there was public transportation um it was easier to get there but i was walking all day and i was like so confused i'm like i'm chanting for better circumstances why is it that you know this is even worse because i'm actually walking all day i'm exposed to the elements but as it turns out through my chanting of daimuku that that was the best assignment ever because i became healthy i was walking all day i had stamina i had endurance and also i made my patients were the best patients and they loved me and i loved that that was the most memorable experience of my life it made me stronger and made me who i am right now and i remember i was always always complaining and i was like a fixture in the new york culture center i was always asking for guidance like why the heck is this happening i was like and they just said like this is your benefit you know i said what benefit there's no benefit in walking all day and in being tired uh, but looking back uh, i became stronger and because of that that experience and because of the experience that i've went through which is like extreme hardship you have no clue I, I may look um great right now but it's because only by developing that life condition that life state that of becoming stronger a better individual literally i can say with confidence you can strap me with a parachute and like put me on a plane and drop me anywhere on the planet as long as i chant nam myoho renge kyo and i say this with confidence uh, as long as i chant nam myoho renge kyo i will create more i will create value i will will transform my environment you know and i say that with confidence because i've been doing that for seven years like literally starting over um creating something and then starting over creating something i've moved around so much 
uh, and I've started over so many times, but it has created this change in me that no matter where I am, I will always make a difference. I will always create value wherever I am. And I always, always show actual proof of my practice and my inconspicuous benefit. It's just developing that life state that, you know, because I've gone through so much hardships that whatever happens to me, as long as I chant, I will be okay, you know? And I, I, I've developed that like life condition where, where I'm happy no matter what. And that should be the purpose of our chanting to gain that invisible like life condition life force where you're just happy and like sometimes right now i'm like uh -huh, i'm just gonna laugh that off because i literally just said that tuesday in our meet uh, in our weekly meeting i said in our discussion meeting i said i eat obstacles for breakfast and i've been doing that for seven years uh, you have no idea i've encountered so much hardships but because of that i was able to transform poison into medicine and the reason why i'm sharing this is because i believe that you have the potential to do the same and i am a living proof that you can actually this practice really works so this guy in my youtube uh, channel he actually uh, asked a few questions and I'm going to address them. He said, should I feel something when he chants? So actually when I started chanting uh, 13 years ago, I didn't feel anything except after a week, I felt like something emerged from within me. It's like a bubble of happiness, but it was so fleeting and it disappeared because my life condition before I was depressed, I was clinically depressed and I was so unhappy with my life. I was literally, I did not know what happiness was, but after seven days of chanting Namyo Renge Kyo, I felt that bubble of happiness and it lasted for a few seconds and disappeared. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, what happened? I want more of that. And after 13 years, uh, I can definitely say I've transformed my relationship because whereas before, when before I chanted, uh, unhappiness was my set point. I was... That was my reality, unhappiness. And now, after chanting 13 years, my set point is happiness. That in fact, when I'm not happy, I like chant more daimuku and I always like, what's going on? I'm not happy, you know? Um, I, I have to do things to, to, you know, to go back to that happy state because, uh, because right now that I've just been in that wave of like happiness, happiness and just being happy but it's not happiness that it's blind happiness that even if you have problems you're ignoring your problems definitely this practice is uh, buddhism in daily life it means transforming your problems right now and creating something better out of it like a solution to your problem but we chant nam yoho renge kyo we don't use our conscious mind because it's our conscious mind that actually got us into that situation in the first place you know it's our it's the lower, lower consciousness. Uh, it's the ego and the subconscious mind that actually created a situation where it created the unhappiness and the problem. And we use nam myo ho renge kyo to bypass that. So I chant nam myo ho renge kyo. And I noticed that if I'm not consistent in my practice, uh, just things fall apart and I'm more affected by my outside ex uh, circumstances. I'm more reactive actually. But when I'm chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo a lot and I'm chanting consistently, I, I feel that I have an influence on other people. An external reality doesn't really bother me as much and I can change things, you know? Uh, even working conditions as well. Uh, because at work, uh, I remember there was this one difficult person. And I was like, oh my God, that person's so difficult. And I continued to chant, 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 chant. And I actually showed actual proof of my practice because that person became a friend. You know, I actually shakubuku that person too. Shakubuku means introducing nam myoho renge kyo because I realized she was so unhappy with her life and uh, I introduced her to the practice. And I, I've done that actually <laughs> um, in a lot of my work situations. I just introduce people to the practice. Um, is, you know, that that's that's part of the practice. It's not just happiness for yourself. You want to share it so that you create a better reality for other people as well. Should I think about something when I chant? So uh, actually you can write it down. I find that writing it down and then stating my intention before I chant helps, you know. 
Uh, but I've been changing for 13 years. Uh, I actually have like a, a list of the things I want to accomplish in my life. And uh, I just keep it. I keep it in mind when I chant Nami Horenge Kyo, but I really just chant Nami Horenge Kyo um, to be happy and to transform my life, uh, to transform my relationships. Um, and I don't know, it's just automatic, I guess. If at the end of the period nothing happens, how should I interpret it? So sometimes when you chant Nam Yoho Renge Kyo, there are different reasons why a prayer is answered right away and not answered right away. There's always what we call gestation period. It's like when you are creating a baby, the baby doesn't pop out tomorrow, you know? Some prayers, they get answered right away. Some prayers, they, it takes a while. And sometimes some prayers require you to change first before it will manifest, you know? Something within yourself is, is blocking it somehow. Maybe your doubts, your fears, your, your lack of something. Uh, it is by the process of chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo that you get there. So I say that don't give up, you know, and even if you miss the deadline, and that's why I don't really like setting a deadline unless it's, um, it's actually, what you call that? unless you really need it right now let's say you really need a job because you just got laid off so that one you can set a concrete like time period like oh i have to find a job by the end of the week because like you know it's gonna be hard uh, i need to pay the bills i need like to do this this and that also create clarity as well like what kind of job do you want um, how far is it? Like, if you don't have a car, is it walking distance? How much will it pay? Uh, how much bills do you have to pay? So, you know, you have to create that as well. And do not dictate on how it appears. Um, just be clear on what you want. How it appears is the job of the universe. Your job is just to be clear on what you want and why you want it, you know, and why you think you need it. Um, and definitely, if you're desperate, uh, just chanting... 10 minutes is not enough. If you're really, really in a desperate situation, I suggest um, doing more hours. I, I do like a maintenance chant, which is just chanting for 40 minutes to an hour. But definitely when I had problems, I was like chanting a lot. I was chanting um, during the um, period where I was not sure with my relationship status. Like uh, that was two years ago. I did not know that my ex at that time um, was cheating on me, but I chanted 10, 10 hours of Daimuku, five hours of Daimuku. I chanted a lot of Daimuku and members were just like, oh, you're chanting that much? <laughs> Why? Uh, I was like, it, I just really felt that I needed it. Um, and as it turns out, I found out after several months that he was cheating on me in our relationship. And not only that, he was with another woman and he left me for another woman. And that was, I needed to chant a lot of Daimuku in order to survive that, you know? But I didn't get the answers right away. I got it through time. And because sometimes things just unfold how it's supposed to unfold. You can't force it. Unless it's a life, um, threatening situation example we uh there's some there was a member and her ship uh the ship or the boat she was in it was like a ferry boat it was sinking um not sinking but there they were taking in a lot of water there was just uh, a storm and there's so much water and they put a life vest in already and they were getting desperate and they were getting ready to jump ship and she chanted nami wo renge kyo because like that is a life-threatening situation and Strangely enough, you can call it coincidence. Um, you can call it the power of chanting. The wind died down and then the, the ships stopped taking in water and she was like, oh, you know, and people were staring at her because she was like chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo crazily and like, and suddenly the wind died down, you know, and that is a, pro, pro, a power of prayers as well and of chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo. Can my lack of faith or spirituality interfere in obtaining concrete benefits? So based on my experience, so I um, was part of, um, I was part of a, a different religion before and I was chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo and, uh, and I stayed in that religion for three years even after I was chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo. I was just skeptical all the way, but I continued to chant. 
I just really trusted other people. They said, this creates value, this creates benefits, uh, you will have proof of your practice, and I never gave up. And lo and behold, after three years, I just like, you know what? I've had so much actual proof. I actually just let go of my other religious practice that I was practicing, and I just devoted my life to chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It doesn't mean that I'm not doing other forms of like, I do clearing work and stuff like that. I do some sort of like hypnosis and stuff like that, but that's uh, a different thing that complements my practice. But my main practice is chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. You can do yoga. You can do Tibetan bowls and stuff to relax yourself, but Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is, is different because it is enlightenment. It is being aware of what you need to change in your life in order to be happy. So even if you lack faith or spirituality, if you have a consistent practice, you will just develop that, that faith. You will just like, oh yeah, I've accomplished so much. And, and even now, like I look back and I'm like, oh, my life has changed so much. I don't even recognize myself anymore. And I continue to change for the better, you know? And um, it's always looking back like who I've become um, because of this practice. So how long should I practice un until something concrete happens? So as I said, there's a gestation period and definitely do not um, force things to happen. Just let it unfold and chant nam myo wo renge kyo. Um, just focus on, on yourself and just focus on feeling the chant and just elevating your life condition. And also you can also chant, um, how can I, what do I need to do in order to ch change this situation? You can also do that and chant that way. So I have the right to receive proof or proof, or do I have the right to receive proof or proof, or should I really believe that nothing happens? So sh he said he's skeptical, he has no, uh, I cannot understand how I will develop faith and confidence in something that does not work, has no evidence, or generates clear results. You will see and are measurable. So I don't know what this person is chanting for. Um, definitely, it also depends. Like when you are just starting to chant for the first time, you do have uh, goals that you can achieve in you know, 30, 60, 90 days. So don't chant for something like big, like, um, like, yeah, I will give birth to a baby tomorrow or something like that. That will be impossible because that will, we, we follow the uh, laws in this physical plane. So don't, don't go against the, the physical laws, you know, or the laws of the universe. Um, if you want to be a millionaire, that might take time, you know. Um, Jeff Bezos, who's the, he's a billionaire, he's the richest man on the planet. In order to be a billionaire, he spent years, like I remember the dot com, he was part of that and he was bankrupt and he started again and he started again, started again and just continued go, go, moving forward. So definitely, um, he did that, he accomplished that. But by chanting Nam Yu Renge Kyo, you will not only become like um, prosperous, but you will be happily prosperous, you know, because there's a lot of rich people out there and they're depressed. They don't know what to do with their money. They're alcoholics. They have like mental conditions and stuff. So when you chant Nam Yo Renge Kyo and you want to earn definitely material possessions, you can do that. But with the knowledge that this is also not about um, just having temporary happiness it's also about creating value with your life like creating something that will create more and make you happy in the long term or the long run so if at the end of the period i set uh, to manifest any of my goals or receive conclusive proof of damuku's power or chanting nami orenge kyo's power i don't get any results how should i interpret the lack of results so yeah definitely for me as well even me uh, I have prayers that are still pending because I need to work on them. But definitely, I have had prayers that are already being answered. So uh, case in point, like two years ago when I was, I had that relationship problem and I chanted 10 hours hoping that that would be 
resolved after chanting 10 hours, but it didn't. It was over time, you know, and um, just realizing that, oh my God, like I was in a toxic relationship and I stayed in that relationship, even if it caused me to lose myself. And, but looking back, but because I never stopped chanting, I had doubts, of course, I'm like, that relationship was the best relationship, but was it really the best relationship? So when I started chanting Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo, just continued to chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo, looking back, I realized that because that happened, I may have lost that guy, but I gained so much more, which is the inconspicuous benefits I'm talking about, which is I'm now more confident as a woman, and I know my value, I know my worth, you know, and um, um, I have so much good fortune right now that uh, the opposite sex is just really um, attractive to me because they can sense that I have so much confidence. And, you know, two years ago, I was so depressed. I was like, oh my God, who would want me now, you know? And as it turns out, there's a lot of people that want you in your life, you know, once you develop that confidence uh, of that self-belief that now I have so much good fortune that uh, I can just really choose uh, the best person for my life, you know, and uh, two years ago, uh, I didn't have that. Actually, even just a few months ago or a year ago, I didn't have that confidence. I was like, feeling so low and feeling so down and i was like i chanted 10 hours of daimuku i chanted eight hours of daimuku why did my boyfriend leave me but looking back you know because i continued to chant i was able to transform that and i'm like yeah that's why it happened you know and and now i'm just in a different um in a different uh, life condition where it's like you know i have the option now that i can choose to be who with I'm with, or who to be with, you know, that creates more happiness for me. And uh, a year ago, I swear that was not even a possibility and I didn't have the confidence and I, I looked like I was dying inside, which I literally was, but because I was chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, I just unearthed all of that, um, the gunk, you know, from my life, you know, that, that dirt, if you call it, um, that unhappiness from my life. And, but, you know, because Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo is not just chanting and waiting for things to happen. I actually took a lot of action. I actually um, joined uh, goal setting groups, mastermind groups. Uh, I, um, I tried life coaching and I've tried several life coaches to see what matched for me, who was a match for me. And now like, you know, um, I've been with this couple, like they've been with me from the very start uh, since two years ago. And then they just watch me blossom right now into the confident woman that I am, you know? And what I like about them working with them is uh, there, we created action steps for my life, what I can take. Uh, and I'm also uh, seeing, uh, she's a different life coach as well. She's more like a, um, more into like higher level stuff. And I'm, I'm exploring that as well, you know? And, and that's what the, the, the practice is for. It's like, if you are in this practice to create instant change, it's not gonna happen. This practice is not about that. This practice is about cumulative. It's about uh, changing yourself to a path that will lead you to be happier and happier and happier. And it's always looking back. And there are so many times I throw the towel, I've thrown the towel already. I'm like, you know what? I give up. I'm not going to chat anymore. It's like not creating the results that I want. But I continue to go back to my practice because I notice that when I do that, um, I'm more defeated by my environment and I don't the, uh, I'm defeated by my environment and my environment doesn't, uh, I cannot influence my environment. Like I feel helpless. Mm -hmm. So that is the purpose of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to create this life condition where you are just aware of what you need to change in your life. And also 
to create like lasting long term happiness, you know. And、uh, I will continue to chant Nam Myoho h Renge Kyo for as long as I live because I can see that, oh my God, looking back a year ago, I'm so much happier now. Two years ago, I'm so much happier now. So, this guy, he's setting a time period. I don't know what his goal is exactly. That's why you need to also be clear on what you really want、uh, and not just say, oh, I'm going to be like a billionaire now, you know? Like Jeff Bezos, it took him decades to get there. There's a concept of the right timing, doing the right things. But with chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo, you get that good fortune and so much more. You actually have happiness、uh, from within. And、uh, so he said, he's saying, is he practicing incorrectly?、Um, I don't know what he's doing, but definitely chant consistently、um, and chant with clarity and don't force things to happen. Write it down, you know, just be clear. This is really what I want. What I did before was I put goals in an index card and I would just outline. The qualities of the job I was looking for,、um, to just to create that clarity, and I chanted for it.、Um, but literally,、uh, I have transformed my job karma right now. That whereas before I was the one struggling to get jobs, you know, I was like, oh, please hire me. And now they're the ones calling me. So that, but that is because I've been working on myself, also working on my job experience as well. And that really, really helps, like, because they can see that, oh, she worked in that setting, she worked in that setting, she worked in that setting, and she's doing so well. So that's it. Like,、uh, right now, they're the ones calling me, and also in my dating situation as well. Now,、um, I can, I, I've actually chosen, like, the right guy for me, and I'm the one that's. Uh, of course, I was chosen as well, but、um, I also had that choice of like, should I choose this? You know, because,、uh, because now there's like so many options and stuff, but what creates more? What creates me to be happier, you know, in the long term? And that is not something that you get overnight, actually. You get there. But by chanting Nam Yoho Renge Kyo, and I can't believe this because, like, Years ago, I was complaining. I was like, what the heck? You know, like, why are things not changing yet? And I was like, so like, disappointed. I'm like, they said this prayer works. Yes, this prayer works.、Uh, but this prayer doesn't work overnight, it, it has a cumul cumulative effect. And、um, this member who passed away already, she is like at the core of my heart and my being. Uh, just encountering her just created something of value to me. And what, one thing that she said to me on my birthday was she said, You can't expect to chant and then come back. It's like planting a seed, you know? You can't expect a seed to grow into a, a seedling or a plant the next day. It's always by like, Oh, a week later, it's, there's some shoots growing. Oh, oh. Two weeks later, three weeks later, four weeks, a month, a year. And in my case, it's been over 13 years. So I'm going to be celebrating my 14th year、uh, of chanting next year in March. So that's exciting for me. I'm changing my karma and I can feel it, you know? And also, as well, The prayers that are not answered, like that's some people, and I noticed, like, oh my God, like they chanted for that and they got that right away. Sometimes, you know, they, you might just have a lot of issues within yourself that you need to work on and clear up, you know, some self limiting beliefs, whatever it is, you know, doubts or whatever, doubts, and like you don't believe your own potential for creating that. So, Um, you also have to work on that. And、uh, I have introduced people to the practice where they manifest in a snap. And I'm like, oh my God, really? And I've like been chanting, and you get that right away. But I noticed that these people, once they get what they want right away, they don't stay in the practice too long. And therefore, they don't really get the, the full benefits of the practice, you know? And then they stop whenever there's a problem. Whereas me, I'm like, I'm just going to continue no matter what because I really want to see what's behind the benefits behind 
the obstacle that I'm facing and I'm just going to continue to chant no matter what. Uh, and that attitude has paid off, you know, and, um, and it's a good thing that I didn't manifest in a snap that I had to work for things because um, I developed that life condition where, you know, as I said, strap me with a parachute, like take me on a plane, drop me off somewhere and I will survive. And I can say that with confidence because I developed that life condition that I'm, I've developed that I, and I've developed that experience as well that I can literally survive anywhere, you know? Um, and I lived in a desert. I lived in like freezing, freezing weather, you know? And I've, I've lived like in a lot of places and I just thrived. And that is the power and the benefit of Nam Myung Ho Renge Kyo. And that is the inconspicuous benefit. It may not be the job, that you get, which is the conspicuous benefit, but the person that you've become because of that job, so it might not be that relationship per se, but the person that you become because of that relationship, you know, it might not be the money per se, but it's the person that you become because of the money, but definitely because Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and uh, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and Nichiren Buddhism is Buddhism of showing actual proof in daily life. Whatever you're facing right now, whether it be a negative relationship, um, chant to transform it. Whether it be a really awful family situation, chant to transform it. There's, if you are unhappy in a certain aspect of your life, chant to transform it. And that's the purpose of chanting Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo. And I hope I've answered your question. And thank you very much. Thank you.